Ah, uh, yes. Somebody said to me, I want to totally focus on WordPress development and specialize in it. What projects and extra things do you recommend learning for being an expert in this area? Expert in WordPress. Do I need to worry about making WordPress sites mobile responsive? Is WordPress dying anytime soon? First of all, if you learn to design your WordPress pages with modern CSS, responsive CSS, which should be the default, you don't need to do anything special to make them ready for mobile. They'll just be mobile automatically. So yeah, you gotta get into the back. If you're not familiar with that kind of stuff, just do my CSS course, I teach that. It's uh, pretty easy once you get into it, once you understand the box model. Uh, is WordPress going away anytime soon? Not a chance, not a chance. You gotta remember that uh, the WordPress company, I think they're called Automatic, they're so big that it's a billion dollar business, right? It's a billion dollar business. I don't think people realize how big WordPress is. It's kind of weird. It's so pervasive, you know? It's so pervasive, meaning it's everywhere. So many businesses use WordPress. I think 80% uh, of websites that are dynamic or database driven on the web are PHP based. And a big part of that is because of WordPress. So, you know, WordPress is not going away anytime soon. Yes, it's got all kinds of problems that annoy people, but it's also got some good stuff too. I was actually looking at the new WordPress editor for uh, creating articles. I think it's called Gutenberg. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I've only started working with it, so I have to get a feel for it. But you know, you just—it's—it's it's more like a drag and drop type of thing. Uh, visual interface—it's—you uh, click a plus button, and little blocks appear on the page. These blocks are literally blocks, and in these blocks, you can put paragraphs, you can put images. I think you can put video and all kinds of other stuff, and you can move blocks and resize them. It's. Uh, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. It's not fantastic, but it's pretty good. And WordPress will continue. You can be sure when you got a billion dollar business behind it, you can be sure that WordPress is gonna to continue to evolve and get better and better. The web space has become much more mature these days overall, meaning that the tech that you see in place now, for the most part, I don't see it going away anytime soon. And it's a question of the stuff has just gotten good enough. It's just gotten good enough. So, you know, HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, WordPress, uh, they're not going away. They're just not going away. In terms of mobile application development, you can be sure that uh, you can be sure that web-based technology is going to be leveraged more and more for mobile development. There's no question about it for a couple of good reasons. A, because uh, web tech has just gotten much more sophisticated. The browsers are much more sophisticated so that they can process the code in a, in a very cool way. And uh, handheld devices, whether it be iPhones or Android devices, are just more and more powerful now. So. The need for native mobile development has really diminished quite a bit over time. I've talked about this many times. So how does this relate to WordPress? Well, you know, you can build responsive sites or responsive layouts with WordPress, which means it'll run perfectly fine on mobile devices, which means you'll be using the WordPress. And I'm sure there's going to be more and more plugins that allow for more powerful capabilities. So if you want to get into WordPress as a full-time developer, you have to really get to know WordPress, but not just the application itself, but the ecosystem around WordPress. That's a big part of its power, the fact that WordPress has such a huge ecosystem. But a lot of people use, a lot of people use. And you know, the ecosystem is all the themes and the plugins, and the, you know, the plugins could add extra functionality like shopping carts and and uh, members only areas blah 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 it just goes on and on and on and on in addition you get all the themes the themes are basically the visual templates but they can have a lot of functionality embedded in those templates as well again a lot of power now wordpress professional it takes time to get really good at it now you can get up and running 
fairly quickly, but to get really good at it like anything else, anything worthwhile, it takes a little bit of time. So that's it. You're just going to have to spend the time and you learn the stuff and uh, away you go, Bob Jaronko. I don't know if you guys can even see me now. I'm actually at my gym. I'm parking at my gym. The problem with this gym is the bloody parking is so tight. It is so tight, it's unbelievable. You don't have much space. So you gotta really be careful about how you park. Anyway, that's about it, so... Uh, yeah, in terms of uh, Will, WordPress, and content management systems like, uh, like Joomla and Drupal and WordPress, will they replace the need for basic web design? They're not competitive with each other. You know, it's like, it's just like, if you're gonna be, ooh, let me just turn this down. Web design and WordPress development is not a competitive thing. You have to be a very good web designer, front-end designer to work with WordPress because that's how you build the themes. They're not competitive. They're not competitive. Sometimes you'll build static websites. Sometimes you'll use a CMS like WordPress, content management systems. CMS equals content management systems. Sometimes you use Drupal. Sometimes you Joomla. Sometimes you might break out a web development application and uh, a framework. You might break out a framework and have to build something from scratch. It's hard to say. It depends on the circumstances. But they, they complement. They don't compete. They complement. They don't compete. I hope this makes sense. Bye-bye. Thank you.